Hey guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. Hope you guys are doing well today. I am busy gearing up here to can lots of chili sauce. We do this every year and this year I am doing six or seven batches. Typically my guys are helping me, um, mainly the Mountain Boy. This is a Mountain Boy and Mom project and this year he would normally be working. He is now working full time for a saw shop in the local town learning how to do small and medium sized motor repair which is really awesome. And uh, But today, today he's sick so I don't want him hacking all over our produce and our eats for the winter so and besides that he is really under the weather. He is flat on his back right now so say some prayers for him. But I hope you guys are all doing well. I wanted to catch up because these last two weeks have been really crazy and our equipment is still giving us struggles and I thought it would be a lot easier to just go live today than attempt to upload and download and as the mountain man says side load because my equipment is just not cooperating for that. I'm running out of space on everything and I just needed, to, I figured this was a good way to catch up with everybody. So hopefully some of you will jump on. I would love to uh, chat with you today. I know some of you don't like the live videos, but it's nice to be able to sometimes communicate with you all and see what you guys are up to. I am getting a poor connection right now, so hopefully it um, cooperates here. But, um, and I wanted to... Um, I'm going to move that down just a touch so you can see all this wonderful produce. I'm going to show you. Whoop. I've got tomatoes and peppers and onions and celery, all of which are going to go in my chili sauce. And um, tripod is sliding on me. There we go. I actually have 160 pounds of tomatoes and I am so excited. Woohoo! Because that is going to not only do my chili sauce, but it's also going to provide pizza sauce and possibly some other sauces depending how crazy I go with the pizza sauce because we try to do pizza every Friday night. I've been slacking off with this busyness and craziness that we've been under, but um, we are having pizza one of these nights upcoming here, probably Sunday, and uh, it's just a family favorite. It's something we do and enjoy doing. So for those of you that are interested in our chili sauce, um, you can find that in two places, the recipe. You can find that in my cookbook, which is on Amazon. And you can simply go there by going to treyerwilderness.com slash Tammy Treyer. And you will locate all of my books there as well. And uh, in the cookbook you will find my chili sauce recipe along with my hot mustard recipe and several um, other canning recipes and then our some of our family favorite recipes in there. I'm also working on a new one. But I would like to also give a shout out right now to a fella named Virgil. This is a funny story. Um, this just happened today. Uh, Mountain Ben, for those of you that have been watching our videos, Mountain Ben is joining us and staying indefinitely and enjoying it out here. And he just got himself a Malamute puppy. She is like, I think, nine or ten weeks old right now. She's adorable. Actually, I'll show that. Everybody's going to go, ooh, ah. There she is. That is Lila. And um, the guys are working on a roof today. And I had to run uh, two hours this morning to get a tool they needed for the job and run it to the job. So they took her with. And I got to bring her home. And on the way home, I have a little hemlock in the back seat of my truck. I should say a big hemlock because I have a Rhodesian Ridgeback also and two other dogs here on the homestead. So... It's nice to be able to have uh, a place to keep the back seat kind of clean from all the dog hair and dirt because you never know what they're going to step in or roll in or whatever. So anyway, I put her in the back seat. Well, on a mile stretch, I had to stop three times because she kept crawling out of it and under my front seat. And she's getting pretty big and she's not fitting in there so good. And I had trouble getting her out the first two times. I was trying to keep her in the back. So anyway, I pull in this driveway and was taking up the whole thing, and this nice man comes 
along and he's trying to pull in there so I had to get out of his way while I'm trying to keep the puppy under the seat so she didn't get stuck in my feet and the pedals and he hollered out and asked if I was Tammy and I said well yes I am and he said well I got your book at the local store and I just thought that was so cool and asked his name so I wanted to give a shout out to Virgil Virgil is homesteading locally also and I just wanted to uh, tell him thank you for making my day and also to wish him the best on his homestead and would love for him to reach out at any time but just a neat happening and and yes I did get the puppy out from under my seat and I did put her next to me and on my lap so she was content she was just trying to find a comfort spot to lay in plus with all her thick fur it's still pretty hot here we had a frozen morning today it was it was frigid and and frosty and she probably enjoyed that but the heat of the afternoon just gets the best of her and she just gets very hot and pants a lot so I think she was just thankful to be in a spot where she could get out of the sun and out of the heat which was what I was trying to do with, for her anyway but it's a puppy so I hope you guys can see this and I hope that you can hear this well because it is saying bad connection but sometimes it fibs but um, I also mentioned that you can get my uh, chili recipe on our website and you can easily do that by going to treyerwilderness.com slash chili sauce and that will take you directly to my recipe so if anybody's out there I would love to know what you guys got growing in your garden and what you are canning up we are starting to get really cold mornings our season is ending we have a very slow uh, short growing season out here and as I mentioned in some of the other videos, with my health still not being 100% in spring, I just chose not to plant anything, which saddened me because I love being in my garden. But I do have a dear friend, Gudrun, who brings me lots of produce when she can, and I feel very blessed. But I'm going to be here for a while, and I will probably jump back on again throughout the weekend because I also have 25 pounds of garlic that I'm going to pickle in various ways. I have some cayenne and some crushed red peppers and some bay leaves and some dill seeds and all kinds of other things that I'm going to put in that and, and experiment a little bit. Show you how to um, easily clean and peel a lot of garlic because like I said I have 25 pounds of fresh garlic so that is a lot of garlic to process but I'm really excited about it. It's really a good medicinal um, spice to use and to have on hand and um, Pickled garlic is amazing. If you haven't tried it, you have to. So I will be doing that and sharing those recipes along the way also, but I'm not attacking that today. I was going to try, but there's just not enough hours in my day. And like I said, since I'm doing this by myself this year, I've got lots of chopping to do. So today I'm going to get like two maybe three batches done most likely just the two and then I like I said I'm doing seven or eight batches so I will be here all day tomorrow canning and cutting and chopping and I thoroughly love doing this uh, in my podcast today I mentioned how when I'm doing this it really really reminds me of my grandparents my grandparents um, were like two hours away from me growing up so in the summer I'd spend two weeks with them and sometimes more and I thoroughly enjoyed my time with them and they had a beautiful big garden and our time spent there was um, as they would say shucking beans we do lima beans and um, green beans sugar peas and one of the big things we do when I would visit was peaches so we'd sit on their patio in the cool and in the shade and just sit and talk and and process the the vegetables they also had a really awesome canning kitchen off the side of their garage that was so well equipped for all their canning projects I always envied it and did have the opportunity when they sold their house to buy their house and, and that would have been the biggest selling point for me was their canning kitchen and their garden but I was meant to be out here in Idaho so it just didn't work out but they were a big influence in my life for my canning and gardening and also my faith. Um, I really uh, give them the credit for 
the faith that I have in God, and I'm so grateful for that. And I think of them so much with so many different things and just feel blessed to have had them in my lives and, you know, them in my life. And it was just... It's just a neat time when you're doing this stuff and you're reminiscing and thinking of, of people that have influenced you. And this is just something that my son and I have done for years and years. And we've grown to enjoy this so much. And he apologized to me a little bit ago that he's sorry that he can't help me today. And it's just weird not having him here. We always have such a good time and goof around. And it's just um, a really good time making memories. We've made a lot of memories cutting up vegetables. So it's a great thing to do with your kids. It's also something that they should know. And as I said in my podcast this morning, you know, these are the kinds of skills that everybody should know. Because as you guys m m should know um, through all the videos we've done, we went six and a half months last year without an income. And had we not lived the way we do and have a good cache of food and stock up our canning shelves and, and forage and harvest our meats and if we wouldn't have done all that we wouldn't have been in the same position you know we without an income we never went without food we always had food and we had abundance left over once things started to turn around for us but that was our blessing and it's because we lived this way that we weren't hurting and that we weren't in a bad really bad spot when we really could have been so I want to encourage everybody, if you haven't tried canning, this is a great recipe to start with. It involves time. You know, you're cutting a lot of vegetables and processing vegetables. You could use modern day appliances and, and uh, you know, different types of choppers. I have some choppers. My big one that I use all the time is actually out of service. It's a Tupperware one. I need to find a Tupperware person that can uh, replace it for me because the handle broke on it. But... It's also just nice to kind of chill and relax and just cut all the vegetables and process them and do it in a traditional way. So it's all how you want to do it. But it's really something that I thoroughly enjoy. It's something that the mountain boy has always loved to do. When I get carrots or chili sauce ready to go, he's by my side and never hesitates, never balks. It's something that he actually wants to do. So is anybody out there joining me? Would love to know if you are, where you're from, and what are some of the things that you guys can, and maybe even who are some of the influential people in your life, because it's really, it's really neat as you get older and you look back on things, you know, the people that you really treasure and what they've taught you and, and how they taught you. You know, it's it's nice to have people in your life that have had patience with you enough to teach you the things you need to know. And, you know, we kind of aspire to be that for a lot of you folks out there that are learning because these are skills that will take us into our indefinite future no matter what. Knowing how to process your foods and hunt your, you know, hunt and process your meats all of those skills are so important, but there's so many more skills that go along with it. But this is just a small, small thing, but I would love to know. It's just neat listening to old people and their stories and what they've been through and how they did things. And I love learning and I love learning from the older generation because they experienced a lot of this stuff firsthand with the Great Depression and and pioneering as they had to and mountain man and i always say you know we feel that we were born a hundred years too late you know uh just i just think what they their lifestyle was just so unique and that's what we're doing out here lots of cutting to do here so i don't know how this is coming across to you guys so i'm going to jump off of here but i encourage you to check out my chili sauce recipe i will jump back on and show you um how to process a lot of garlic um, in the next three days sometime and share that with you and again sorry that we weren't out on the channel the last two weeks things just really got crazy for us we had a lot of things uh, with the construction business that had to be bid and dealt with and it was just really stir crazy so but keep st stay tuned